What's happening, fam? L.A. Y'all moving, still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link, they also asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. This video, though, this video is entitled Irresponsible Meat Ain't Manhood. So I was watching Paternity Court, and this guy was upset. Like, you know, I ain't claiming this baby. This, you know, she, she been sleeping with everybody. So it was two kids, ultimately. Both of them was his. But in the process, he just comes, do you have any other kids, sir? Yeah, I got six. So ultimately, at the end of the day, after the show, he wound up with eight kids. Now, irresponsible me ain't manhood. Now, this is for a guy who's reckless as far as making babies because, you know, they asked him, you know, well, what do you do? I, you know, I talk to him. I make sure, you know, they not, you know, don't tell him not to be like me. So you could never put a condom on, bro? First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one. Just couldn't, just just had to keep doing the same process, huh? So, you know, irresponsible meat that doesn't make you a man. And what I mean by that is also this. When guys say, you know, I got chicks. I got a lot of them. You know, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm smashing a lot of girls. Just because you out here smashing, don't, that's not, that doesn't mean you're a man. It means you're having a lot of intercourse, right? But a lot of cats want to be irresponsible. You thirsty. You know, some cats are thirsty and they're having sex and that makes them a man. Some cats are buying it and they're having sex with a lot of people. That makes them a man. Some some guys are, you know, talking women out of the, into sex. That makes them a man. Some guys are, are um, how can I say this? Tricking to a degree to, to get sex. Some guys are simping to get sex. But, and, and some guys are getting a little bit. Some guys are getting a lot of it, you know. <laughs> but being irresponsible with your meat don't make you a man. When you can't, she was there, so I had to do it. No. I mean, is she worth your time? And see, this is why I say it doesn't make you a man because if it's there, you don't care if she's not worth your time. You don't care if she's got good or bad character. You don't care if she's uh, if she's bad built, overweight, ugly, have a bad personality, might be sucking the life out of you, might be as Black Ram says, succubus, succubi, a fee fail. You don't care because you're irresponsible with your meat. As long as you're getting some, you don't care what you're laying with. So, being irresponsible with your meat makes you a man. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting these chicks, though. Yeah, you are. But, you getting the same kind of chicks you complain about. See, you, be, you being irresponsible with your meat when you say you, you sick of these thoughts, you sick of these single mothers, but you got a phone full of thoughts and single mothers, you know, just in case the other side of the bed get cold or just in case you want to be in the middle of something warm. You know, these chicks ain't going to ever change. They're not going to change how they act. Well, you're validating them with your irresponsible meat, right? They don't think they have to change in a relationship because guess what? You're not trying to have a relationship. You're just trying to smash. And to a degree, they're going to get so frustrated from being alone, they're just trying to smash. So you're going to still give them attention because you're irresponsible with your meat. You're not giving it to the best of the best anyways. You know, just our standards for dating and our standards for sex are two different things. So, but, and I saw D.L. Hewley on a clip of Black Love, I think. He was like, you know, he was, cheat he, he was cheating on his wife because he just thought that's what men were supposed to do. That's what men do. You know, that's what we do. I didn't know nothing was wrong with it. I didn't know, I didn't understand how it hurts my partner's feelings. And I'm just sitting there like, really, dog? This, you know, you're in the GED section saying all this intelligent stuff. But in the history, but you had no idea that cheating on your wife would hurt her feelings. And it, and it would be detrimental to her. And, and it would cause a problem. Stop lying. You know, because 
Most guys who are cheating, this is why I got to bring this up. It, being irresponsible with your meat don't make you a man because most of the guys that are cheating ain't man enough to say that they got another woman. You know, let me see your phone. Would you need to see my phone? What? Why you just don't tell her? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's another chick. It's two other chicks. Or, you know, if you're cheating, if it ain't, look, it ain't nobody, take the phone. You know? But, when you're irresponsible with your meat, it, it makes you a man to go smash and everything, but you ain't man enough to look your woman in the eye and say, yeah, somebody else. That makes absolutely no sense. You know, absolutely no sense. And the guys don't want to, don't want to say, yo, you know what? Maybe he's making a point. You know, you irresponsible with your meat, but at the same time, you know, you a scam artist with getting with getting her between her legs. Let me lie, cheat, and steal just to get here. You got no code. You can get the you can get the women without having to bend your own personal integrity. You could. But you want to be irresponsible with your meat to the point where why do some people go some guys go broke? Because what's what's most important is the is getting her in bed. He don't care how much it costs because that's his initiative. You know, that's his mission. He don't care how many hoops he got to jump through. That's his initiative because that's his mission. Sorry. But, and because at the end of the day, if I get in bed, I am man. The more women I get in bed, the more man I am. But this is why I say irresponsible meat don't make you a man because that doesn't mean you're satisfying the women or satisfying yourself. You know, I like the thrill of the chase. All right, chase. You're going to have to, you know, either some, you're going to catch somebody or somebody going to catch you at some point. I, I'm a man, I got to do it, I got to do it. No, not really. I mean, and the reason I say being irresponsible with your meat don't make you a man because... All of you, the vast majority of men ain't built to deal with multiple, aren't built to deal with multiple women and multiple partners at the same time. I, I hate to break the news to you. I know all of us feel like we got it like that. No. You just being irresponsible with your meat because, you know, let's, let, it might be a season where you hot. So you don't know if you're going to be hot again, so you might as well go for it. You irresponsible with your meat because you've been lazy. And you really haven't been approaching and hollering at people. So, you know, now you you getting, you know, life has brought you, thrown you a few bones. And now you're like, yo, I'm living. Being irresponsible with your meat don't make you a man. Because a lot of times y'all get your confidence from how many chicks you can get in bed. And not any actual accomplishments. So it's not manly to say, oh, I had... You know, you know, a hundred chicks in the last six months, but that's your only damn accomplishment. Or that's your biggest feat. You you that's not manly. If you actually have something that's 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 substantive as an accomplishment, you might get fifty year old chicks that's in six months. 20, depending on the person. 10, it doesn't really matter. Depends on how much you're frequenting in this. Because the other thing about it was, I'm going to say this before I get out of here. The, the trigger, this is one part that the guy said, he was like, man, se this sex is just sex. It means nothing to me. I've, I've been sleeping with girls since I was 13, and they don't mean nothing. It's just sex. That's what happens when you're irresponsible with your meat. It's just sex. But if you can't control it, you are a slave to your own sexual urges. How does that make you a man? When you can't handle your business, but you can have sex. You can't take care of yourself, but you can have sex. You don't have a goal. You don't have goals, a path, a direction. You know, you're not, you're not trailblazing. All you know how to do is have sex. How is that manly? You just, because you, because you get an erection and because you got a sex drive, you're going to just skip off all the other, check off all the things of being a man that are non-sexual 
and say, ah, I got me some so that so we good. That's not manly. Actually, that's more feminine than anything. Because basically, all you're doing is saying to yourself that, you know, as long as I get some attention, that's good enough. That's bull. Uh, but we out. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.